Hello, my name is Paige Stewart, and for my leisure activity, I chose to go shooting at a gun range. Since the beginning of our country's history, guns have always been synonymous with men. They are symbols of power, warfare, and combat, and have been used in countless battles for our country since as far back as the American Revolution. Guns have single-handedly changed the way of warfare, and placed themselves in a very secure position of our history. Unfortunately, for almost the entire existence of our country, only men could use them. Women were strictly bound by the stigma of being the weaker sex. They were considered physically and mentally weak, and were discouraged from doing anything too rigorous. This social construct has single-handedly kept women from using guns for centuries. This reframement imposed upon women allowed men to dominate every aspect of firearms for centuries. Even though society has changed and women are allowed and quite capable of shooting guns now, guns are still associated as a predominantly male activity. Guns are highly commercialized throughout our society in movies and television shows as rugged and powerful tools that for the most part only tough male heroes use. It is few and far between that we see a woman play a lead role in an action movie with guns. Guns are also personified in gory graphic video games. But for the most part, the only characters who use these guns are males. These stereotypes are precisely why I chose to go to a gun range for my leisure activity. It is something that I have always wanted to try, but have never followed through with. So on Saturday, February 2nd, I went to the United Sportsman Gun Club in Concord with my boyfriend Greg and his friend Tyler. Before we could start shooting, we had a mandatory safety orientation by a professional. Once that was done, we proceeded to put up our targets. However, before we could do so, we had to wait until it was the ceasefire period. This happens every 15 minutes. During this period, everyone has to set down their firearm, take the clip and bullets out of the gun, and you have to leave your gun on the table where you were shooting. And you could not go anywhere near the table or grab anything off of it during this time. This is done so that everyone can walk safely down the range to replace their targets. Once we had our targets up, we proceeded to take out our guns and get them ready. We brought a total of four guns to shoot. The first gun that I shot was a twenty two semi-automatic pistol. This was the smallest of all the guns and was my favorite because it didn't have a strong kickback. A kickback is the power and force that a gun produces after you shoot it. The second gun that I proceeded to shoot was a 9mm Beretta double action pistol. What was interesting about this gun is that in 1990 through 1991, it was the standard sidearm for the entire military and some police forces. It can also hold 15 rounds, which is now illegal to produce, and most guns only hold 10. The gun only weighs 2 pounds and has a very effective shooting range, plus it has a redundant automatic safety feature to prevent unintentional discharges. This gun was very difficult to get used to. It had an extremely strong kickback, so I had to make sure that my positioning was very sturdy and my arms were very strong. I didn't particularly like this gun because its backfire was so strong that it would fly my arms up into the air afterwards. This strong impact caused me to hesitate a lot right before each shot. It is definitely something that I needed to work on. The third gun that I shot was a SIG Pro. This gun is a semi-automatic pistol and was by far the most powerful gun of the four. SIGs are very popular and famous guns and come in numerous variations. The SIG that we were using was a 40 caliber SIG Pro 2022. This gun had a lot of power and a huge kickback. It took quite a while to get used to and I never quite felt comfortable with it. After shooting all three guns rather extensively, we decided to have a contest of who could get the most bullets in the innermost circle of the target with a, only 15 bullets. Like, liking the 22 pistol the most, that was the gun I used. Unfortunately, I lost and didn't even make one shot inside the target. However, to my defense, the gun just kept jamming and misfiring, so that messed up my concentration. The last gun we shot was a Remington 1022 bolt action rifle. This type of rifle is generally used for killing squirrels and things of that nature. This rifle has a scope on it, so it literally was impossible to miss the center of the target. And it was very easy to shoot. It was very trigger sensitive and had virtually no backfire.
Once we left the range, we had to clean the guns. In order for guns to stay in good condition, it is best to clean them after each use. This prevents gunpowder from corroding or rusting them. This ended up being my favorite part of the entire experience. Once I cleaned the guns, I had a much better appreciation for the guns. I had no prior knowledge to how guns worked, so it was very informative to strip them down and see how and what each component does. To give you a brief overview, the average gun consists of a clip which is loaded with rounds, also known as bullets. The clip is usually inserted into the handle. Once the clip is inserted, your bullet is now in the breech, which literally means split. This is the area where the shell will fly out and the bullet will proceed down the barrel. When you pull the trigger, it releases a firing pin, which hits the primer, which then sparks and ignites the gunpowder. This creates immense pressure and forces the bullet down the barrel. Inside the barrel are rotating clockwise grooves. These grooves put a clockwise spin on the bullet, which allows it to hit a target more accurately. Before this idea was invented, guns, like muskets, had extremely unpredictable and often couldn't hit a target where you wanted. Overall, this was an extremely informative and fun activity that I enjoyed a lot. Now that I have stripped the guns down bare and have seen the intricate process and components that comprise them, I have a new appreciation for gun shooting, and I absolutely look forward to doing it again.